will score is the one that will be given to the Yankees. Aka wearing red. Coming from Japan, please welcome Nishijama Kakeru. So from Japan, 27 year old Nishiyama Kakeru. Red and blue. Heading from Turkey, please welcome Enes Ozdemir. And from Turkey, Enes Ozdemir, Aka, 20 years of age. Ao, Both been successful at Karachi One Premier League. Nishiyama Kikeru taking three Karachi One Premier League wins. He was first in Matosinhos, third in Rabat, first in Baku. He's in contention for the grand winner. Ooh, okay. Now this is going to be a really interesting one because we have another bronze match with a Japanese player and he also is in contention. <laughs> Man, it's coming down to the wire. It yeah. literally is for the grand winner position. So, Nishiyama Kikeru, if he wins the bronze, he becomes grand winner. If he loses the bronze, he has to hope that his teammate loses right. as well. It's, it's crazy because there's out of the four bronze medal contenders, three of them are from Japan, right? Yep. So there you go. And two of them are going for grand winner. <laughs> it, when you talk about strength in depth. Yeah, exactly. This is a great matchup, though. Suparin Pei coming back out again, looking for endurance. Yeah, the long kata. The long kata. So just to let you know, at the moment, this Yama Kikeru is on 2,880 points, whilst Kazamasa Moto is on 2,820 points <laughs> for, the, for the grand winner. <laughs> what? Man, about what a contention. And both of them are veterans, you know, they've been, they've been doing this. Superb. Too, you know. And for people who are maybe not so familiar with kata, it's very much a technical discipline. Every technique has to be done according to tradition. And the judges are looking for that focus, concentration, the techniques, the transitional movements, all of those considerations come into play in making a judgment. crazy to think that they've been around for so long, but yet the athletes are still able to revamp and revitalize these katas to make them look better and better. Uh, but, you know, when you, when, you, when you say they've been around for so long, they've been competing for so long, but they're still only young, right. they're 27 years of age, both of, both of them, right. in uh, Nishiyama and Kazumata Moto, just 27, but so experienced athletes, seasoned athletes. Yeah, very, very well seasoned. in contention for being grand winner yeah <laughs> your seasons you know like that's that's a lot of experience that you're consistently putting under your belt of course it's the honor of winning but it's also the prize yeah i mean yeah it, it, it we, we, we've been talking about this all day it's just like the the there's the obviously the medal but then the ripple effect you have grand winner and then on top of that 
you know, Japan is a highly celebrated karate, or karate is a highly celebrated sport in their country. So all of the excess things that me might be happening back home as far as media and all the extra perks. So. So with the retirement of Ryo Kuna, the four-time world champion, Olympic champion, it's going to be tough, isn't it, for the Insanely coaches tough. in Japan to make a selection for the world championships? Insanely tough, especially, I mean, I'm not trying to skip this match, but our next matchup, it has one of the up-and-coming rising stars in Japan. So between these three athletes that are here right now, wow, what a lineup. You, Nishiyama Kekoro has got to uh, overcome the challenge from Ozdemir of Turkey. And they have such ring presence. I don't know if it's able to be captured through the screen, but wow. But he, he owns that to Tommy when he's out there. Mm. Turkey, also a very strong competitor, though, so. This is a great matchup. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Solid performance there from Nishiyama Kekeru. Was it good enough to win? If it does, he gives him the Grand Willer title. That's absolutely crazy, yeah. talking about balancer <laughs> yeah exactly, this is exactly. It right here this is a make or break kind of cut though there's always a great deal of risk in this uh watch out for the four key areas of balance where the athlete has to stand on one foot for quite some time and there's one in particular where he has to spin really fast and stop absolutely dead still and it's Ozdemir, turkey just 20 years of age a world so a bronze medalist it's a gold medalist as a cadet how explosive is he wow something that cut athletes are always striving for is that blink factor right you blink and they're already in their next move and that's yeah. how explosive and how fast it is but they're finishing everything yeah and this transition here, very difficult. All in Kekotsadach, the back stance. He's really going to have to pull it for this, for this back half, though. He's the first of those four balance points. Watch how he drops down onto the back leg and then explodes into that high side kick. Brilliant technique. That is nice. Arch of the foot came up just a little bit on that first one. Let's see if he can solidify this next one. Foot moving around. Oh, little, little bit of imbalance. Bit. That's why this, this is a go bigger, go home kind of cut up. And the line of the stance yeah. is not quite yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the camera In captures that. Right actually. And the lines on the mats, you can see those and use them as a grid. A reference point. Oh, this is a difficult one now. Just fast turn in a moment and stop. Hey! Was he playing cagey there? Did he spin slowly to make sure that balance was there? Because I've seen Ali Sahol yeah, for double for sure. much quicker in the sure, turn. Sure, sure, sure. And I think that's like a whole part about it, right? Being able to control the speed of that on one leg to solidify everything, then hold that side kick out. It's a, it's a good challenge. But I'm sure he wanted to just make sure he stuck that after a little bit of fidgeting on those other ones. Still such a solid cut up. And your, your view? Your decision here? You know, if if those, if we weren't sitting here talking about that foot moving or fidgeting, I would say it's, you know, it might go blue, but, but Japan was just so solid. I can't, what am I going to say? <laughs> Japan was just so solid. There was minimal to almost no mistakes. I think it's going to go red this time.
So Nishiyama Kekoro wondering, am I going to be crowned grand winner? Or do I have to wait to see the outcome of Moto Kazamasa? Boom. And, and wow, yeah. double title. Double wow. title. 40, look, 44-1 against 43-3. All right, yeah, those, those oh, minor Yamaka hitches, I think, just did it today. Congratulations but huge to congratulations to Nishiyama. What a huge, huge victory. Are we allowed to say double champ, or is that only reserved for gold? Well, no, because he's a bronze medalist. Right, so I was thinking champ, champ, right? Like, <laughs> has that, Nishi has the grand winner status now. Kero. That is massive. So oh. But really important to him. Right, huge. It's just something, I, all, all of the winners today, all of the Japanese athletes that have won today so far, man, they just have such ring presence. You can see it within, like, they, they just grow. They become two or three times bigger when they're on the tatami just going through <laughs> their movement. Everything is in control. And, I mean, I might sound a little crazy for talking about this, but whenever we're even teaching kata on the most basic levels, you're always trying to be in control of the moves. You never want the moves to be ahead of what you're able to, able to do. And sometimes a lot of kata athletes will lose their sense of being and the moves will mm -hmm. just start flowing instead of them being in ownership of every single one, and that is not the case with these athletes. Medal and grand, oh, that, man, that's a good feeling. <laughs>